Hi and welcome to this video log with me Wayne from SwimmingCyclingRunning.com This is actually going to be the first of a two part log. The first part this week is going to review the triathlon show which is running from, at Sandown Park from the 1st to the 3rd of February. The second is going to be next week. Once we've gone to the triathlon show we're going to review the show and tell you exactly what we thought of it. Now the triathlon show, which used to be the TCR threat show, the triathlon cycling running show, um, has good memories for us. It's, we hold it in good esteem because we actually exhibited there uh, the first year it ever um, put out. And that was a difficult year. The first year something goes out is a difficult year. Um, we managed, uh, or I managed, to, to bring down Graham Abri to uh, do talks. Uh, at the show, um, they do have live talks, and Graham Abri was a talker that year, so we introduced him to the show, and he was phenomenal. He also was on our stand, signing books and uh, selling his own uh, book, uh, Flying Scotsman. So that has particularly good memories for us, and so we're, we've got a good heart for the show. But let's review what you might actually want to do in the show if you're looking for certain things in triathlon, cycling, running or swimming. Now it looks like there's something in the region of 140 exhibitors or more. There's a, a huge list on the, the Triathlon Show website which you can see. So when you go there, and we're going to be there Saturday morning, unfortunately we can't be there any more than that. But if you see us with it, me in the shirt, please say hello. Um, love to have a chat with you, um, discuss triathlon, uh, it'd be great to see you. Um, so we, we're going there Saturday morning and it's a huge show, it's very difficult to do all you want in the time you've got. And I'm finishing coaching at 9, going to the show, and then I've got to be away by about 12 because I've got uh, duties at county championship swimming in the afternoon. Um, that's a very short time to do it. So. You've got to be fairly circumspect with what you want to view and have a little plan before you get there of exactly what you're going to see and why you're there and try not to get sidetracked um, too much uh, that can take huge amounts of time from you when you haven't necessarily got it. Now if you want your uh, running stride analysed or you want to have a look at good running technique, there is a running workshop that you have to register for beforehand. And if you are confused about running technique and what you should be doing, that's probably uh, a reasonably good thing to go. But you have to register for that beforehand. Second thing you have to register for beforehand is the Zogs Swimming Zone, which is going to be run by Rick Kittle, who's an exceptionally good swim coach. Um, and he's done this before, he's, he's really used to doing it. And um, I would think that that is going to be an exceptionally good thing to do if you need a little bit of swim help, or you want to try on wetsuits, things like that. But you have to register for both of those beforehand. So please, don't wait till the day. Look online today, try and book a place for yourself. Otherwise, you could well be very disappointed. Now, although it's nice to look around all the things that are new in triathlon, cycling, running and swimming, you may have specific things that you want to do yourself. And, and if, if I were you, I would note those down beforehand and when you get there try and search out those stands that are actually going to successfully fulfill your criteria for having a good show. It is a huge show and there will be lots of people there, certainly after about 11 o'clock on Saturday and Sunday. Um, and getting around will not necessarily be that easy. So if you want to see a talk, check out beforehand, make sure you get to that person's talk at the right time and probably pretty early. Most of them are going to be packed. But if you want product or you want design or you want advice from particular stands, find out where that stand is and make sure you have time to get to it and you don't waste time on things that might not be so important to you. To give you an example of that, if you want to try wetsuits on, which a lot of people do at the show, then Please leave time to get that wetsuit on, people are going to have to serve you and you're going to have to try it on obviously behind uh, the scenes in a changing room which is fairly sweaty and it's difficult to get on so it's going to take a little bit longer than you think to actually fit. When you get it on, you know, try and see, move around in it, don't just stand there. 
be prepared to look like a bit of a fool or an idiot, uh, moving all over the place with a wetsuit on, to make sure that it actually does fit, because you want maximum uh, room in that wetsuit. Unfortunately, that also means you're probably going to sweat in it, because those wetsuits are pretty hot. But if you find that wetsuits don't quite fit you, if you're a slightly odd shape, with other really large legs and a small top if you're a runner, uh, or really big shoulders that don't fit you, or long arms or long legs, then consider looking at something like the Snug Wetsuit range. Now the Snug Wetsuit range will actually adjust a wetsuit to fit you absolutely spot on. They'll even make a wetsuit to measure for you. But they may have some wetsuits there that um, are ex-demo wetsuits. And if you're on a limited budget and you want a really good wetsuit, those are super things to go for. And what they will do is they will actually take them away from the show if you're an unusual size, and they'll fit them precisely to you from the measurements they take at the show. So you can actually get a bespoke wetsuit at that show from someone like Snug who will take it away and have the expertise to, to adjust it exactly to your fit. And that's something that really you won't get many other places other than at the triathlon show. One thing the show's always been good for is trying out different energy gels uh, and recovery drinks and things like that, seeing what actually does suit you. And if you like something, just buy a sample and try it out on a training run, a training ride, um, and see if it actually does suit you. Because if something doesn't suit you, Race day is not the time to find out, especially if you're doing a longer distance event. Having stomach upsets on an Ironman is not the place to find out the, the actual gel, solid or drink that you've actually chosen to use on the day doesn't really agree with you. So that's it for this week, short and sweet. If you are there Saturday morning after about 9.45, I would love to talk to you if you see me wearing this shirt and walking around. Otherwise, have a wonderful triathlon show. Enjoy it. I'll be reviewing it next week. That's next week's vlog. I'll see you then. In the meantime, happy training and enjoy the show.